In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Amen. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us bring to God all our needs at this time. Maybe especially in this Mass we can remember all victims of the explosion in Beirut uh, yesterday. And we pray for peace in the midst of troubled times. For those times when we have turned away from the Lord's love, we ask for his mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness, that for those who glory in you as their creator and guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. 
by his own choice the Father made us his children, by the message of the truth, so that we should be a sort of first fruits of all that he created. Alleluia. It's often thought that the author of Matthew's Gospel was directing his words towards those who were converting to Christianity mainly from a very Jewish background. And that in some ways explains the nature of this morning's Gospel, where we see Jesus unusually ignoring a request and only at the pleading of his disciples does he listen to this woman who is pleading. She herself seems very clever in the way in which she is dealing with this wandering rabbi known as Jesus of Nazareth. When he says to her, it is not fair to take the children's food and throw it to the house dogs, suggesting that there is a privilege for those of the Jewish faith. And she retorts, ah yes sir, but even the house dogs can eat the scraps that fall from their master's table. And it is because of this response that Jesus acts and heals her daughter. The Gospels are always written in the context of the time and place and the audience to which they were hoping to reach. What always comes through, though, is the petition that we place before the Lord is always heard, just as the petition of this woman in today's Gospel was also heard by our Lord. So let us, like this Canaanite woman, turn to our Lord with our prayers and petitions this day. We pray for the Church, that it may always be a place of welcome, a place where people can find reconciliation and peace in the midst of their lives. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for our world in these troubled times. As I said in Mass, we especially remember the people of Beirut and Lebanon at this time. We pray that in some way their nation may find stability and peace. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for ourselves in our journeys of faith, that we may trust in the Lord and that he works in the midst of our lives. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. We pray for those who are sick in mind or in body. We pray for those in our care homes, 
those in hospital and those at home, that they may find healing and peace. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for those who have died and those whose anniversaries occur at this time. We pray that they may find eternal reward with the saints and the angels. Lord, in your mercy, Amen. we ask for the prayers of Mary, Queen of Peace, as we pray together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We make these and all our prayers through Jesus Christ, who is Lord for ever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Yes. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Yes. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with all the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread, gave giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Mm -hmm. 
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Declan, our Bishop, and all who serve your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint John the Baptist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. The Saviour's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
For those who are still unable to come to Mass, we pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since many cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into our hearts. We embrace you as if you were there already, and unite ourselves wholly to you. Never permit us to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. The company with constant protection, O Lord, those you renew with these heavenly gifts, and in your never fading care for them. Make them worthy of eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Hopefully um, those who have been watching the live streaming have realised that it's not working. We've been having teething issues. Hopefully you're joining us on YouTube again. Sorry about this everyone. It's all going wrong. Thanks Frank for the bows though. All went well today. Have a good day, everyone. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Amen.